This is a wiring diagram of an early portable transistor radio. And if we go to the upper left where it says L1, this is the antenna. It's a stick antenna. And that is a tank circuit, tunable tank circuit for the radio frequency of the station. And if you follow that dotted line down to the bottom, this is the local oscillator of the radio. And what that dotted line means is that variable capacitor in the oscillator and the variable capacitor in the antenna are tuned are ganged together. The output of the oscillator at the lower left goes through a capacitor and then up to another coil on the stick antenna. Now what happens here is the frequency from the oscillator and the frequency from the radio station gets mixed together and there's at least four major lobes and all these frequencies go to the base of the transistor gets amplified and out of the collector and now we run into our first tuned tank circuit that is tuned to the IF frequency of 455. So mostly only 455 KC is going to pass through this tank circuit and it is a modulated IF carrier. It gets magnetically coupled to the secondary and the output of the secondary goes to the base of the next transistor where it gets amplified and goes to another tuned IF tank circuit. So now it's almost only 455, still modulated signal, magnetically coupled to the secondary where it goes to another transistor to the base and out the collector amplified again by that transistor and again another tuned tank circuit so now is it is almost only 455 KC modulated signal and again magnetically coupled to the secondary. What we have at this circuit is the detector. We have a diode in the circuit and it's labeled X1. This diode cuts the modulated 455 KC signal in half which detects the audio off of the carrier and now we have it at the volume control. This audio signal goes through a capacitor to the base of the next transistor where it gets amplified out the collector to T4. Now it gets magnetically coupled to the secondary of T4 and this is a push-pull arrangement here meaning that the two signals that are going to the bases of those two next transistors are 180 degrees out of phase. Both those transistors amplify this signal and send it to T5 180 degrees out of phase 
from each other. And T5, this signal gets magnetically coupled to the secondary, which drives the speaker. This radio circuit also has an AVC, and it starts out of the audio detector. Now this is a DC signal, and if you follow it over to the left, you'll see that it goes up through a resistor and through the coil and to the base of the second transistor then continuing to the left through another resistor and up through the coil to the base of the first transistor. So in other words, when there's a strong signal, this bias voltage changes the bias on the first two transistors to cut down the amplification. And likewise, if we run into a weak station, the biasing is set up so the first two transistors amplify more. If you have watched some of my other videos on signal tracing through a tube type radio, you'll recognize that this seems familiar. And that's because generally this transistor radio has the same engineering architectural stamp as the AA5 All-American 5 tube type radio. Thanks for watching.